On or about Wednesday, March 7th, water began gushing out of abandoned mine works alongside Highway 15 at Body Shop Road, just west of Whitesburg. Evan Smith from the Head of Three Rivers Project explains. So there's a bunch of acid mine drainage that's coming out of some old mine works that's entering first Little Dry Fork Creek and then moving on down Dry Fork and eventually getting to the North Fork of the Kentucky River. There's something's changed in the past week and what's been you know, a steady flow is now gushing out. And there's probably the, there's one place that the water's been coming out that's probably the amount of water probably increased tenfold. What is in this water? It's, I mean, you could smell the sulfur as soon as you get within 100 feet of this water. And there's also a high iron content in it and also some manganese. What about the conductivity? The conductivity is very high here. And the conductivity is the measure of how well the water's conducting electricity. So it's telling you that there's a lot of stuff dissolved in it. And especially the, um, you're getting the sulfur from the sulfides that are conducting all that electricity. What impact is this going to have downstream? The most simple and direct impact is it, it's going to produce, it decimates the aquatic life for that stretch of stream where it's flowing. In terms of the metals that are in this water, they're not that bad compared to other places. It doesn't mean they're not bad. It means that there's not, um, you know, the really scary heavy metals. There's not like a lot of beryllium or a lot of copper and a lot of nickel and a lot of zinc. Things like this that are known carcinogens. So people at Blackie, should they be concerned, number one, and number two, should they be concerned that the people that are treating the water may or may not even know about this? What I would say is that in this case, they probably shouldn't be too concerned. I think this iron stuff is dropping out within about a mile of the river. The fact that the quality of this water is poor, but is not worse than what flows into other streams in the county every day, may explain the lack of awareness and action on the part of various local, state, and federal agencies. This is Mia Frederick for the Community Correspondence Corps, a project of WMMT and The Apple Shop.